hello everybody welcome to my channel for those that who don't know me my name is andy maya mayola kitenge call me however you want to call me and this is my youtube channel today i want to talk about this actually i really don't know what i want to talk about <laughs> i really don't know what i want to talk about but i'm here today to make sure that you guys will listen to me because i have a lot to say first of all i want to talk about the fact that i have been lost in the lost of uh a lot of things I lost a lot of things in my life from my daughter from my business from my father from my ex from a lot of things and that made me go into a bit of a depression if you can call it so I really don't know what happened to my mind I almost restrict myself to not seeing people to being in my room a lot, to close, to not eat but healthy. I was very depressive, let's say so. So what happened to me was in the year of 2013, I've been separated with my ex for that we've been together for over six years. So there's this girl that was coming into my store almost every day and when she would come in my store she would see me reading the bible and every time she would come in she would be like god is dead what are you talking about why are you reading this bible god doesn't exist and -na -na -na. see how africa is dying and all those kind of she was very negative about god and then me on the other side I was very positive about God because I was reading the Bible, you know? So I start telling her this. I'm like, no, it's not true. God exists. If you want proof, you can look up in, on the internet or you can look up inside of yourself and you can pray and you're going to have proof that God really exists. To keep trusting in God and blah, 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 blah. I didn't know much about God, but all I know it was like I was reading the Bible and all I know you. All I knew for sure around that time that God really exists because I had opened my business, I was making a lot of money, and I had my family, my husband, my daughter, and my dad was around. I had everything. That I was around. That was when I was 20, 22 years old. So one day this girl came in. She's like, "You know what? Something really bad is going to happen to you." if you don't leave your husband because i was telling her that i was going through hell with this man because we were not getting along anymore the relationship was not working anymore so nothing was going well in my life and around that moment so what i told her was i'm gonna leave my husband because i'm not happy anymore and then she told me she's like okay as soon as you leave him give me a call I'm going to come pick you up. I have my car. I'll pick you up. I'll bring you downtown and I'll introduce you to some nice, handsome guys. Oh my God, I was so excited. I told her this. I was like, you know what? Okay, no problem. I'll call you. Like one week passed, two week passed, and the third week, I finally left him. I finally left him and that was very hard it was very hard because that was a long ass relationship and it was not easy I didn't know how to let him go but finally I did because that was the best thing for me I wanted my daughter to see me happy I wanted my family to see me happy and I wanted to be happy for myself so I had no choice but to let him go and when I finally did let him go I called this girl, I'm like, you know what's up? Finally I left him, na 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 na. And I told her, I said, I told her something like he's outside of the town. We don't live in the same house anymore. And if you want, you can come to my house. You can come to pick me up and we can go have some fun. And you know, I'm seeing already to mingle, you know, that's what <laughs> I was very, very happy that I finally left this guy. 
So she came over. She came to the. She didn't. That day she came to my house. She came to my no. That day she came to my apart. She came to my store because she was a client of mine. She used to buy. She used to buy a hair from from my store. So she came to my store. She's like, "What's up, girl? What are you doing today? I wanna bring it downtown." So we go downtown. We meet men. We meet a lot of people. We have some fun. We mingle around. We do all those kind of crazy things that single people do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, that was it. And then what after that? One week later, she called me. She's like. I really want you to come with me to this place downtown. I want to introduce you to some nice, handsome guys. There's this club called Music on Saint Laurent in Montreal. I want you to come with me so we're going to have a lot of fun. And in that day, I had my niece. My niece was 10 years old and my daughter was 3 years old. I had nobody to keep to stay with my daughters and either with my niece. They were too young. I could not leave the house. But something has, I had, something, something was keep telling me that I had to leave the house. Something keep telling me, you have to leave the house. You have to go with this girl. You have to go have fun. You need to go. You need to go. So I came, I left my phone. I, my niece was 10 years old. She was able to understand a lot of things. She was at least... She was the oldest in the in all the nieces and nephews that my, all my she was the oldest of my my mom's grandkids, so she was very very smart. We could leave her with a child and she'll be like she know how to change diapers. She was very very smart. So I told her I said I'm gonna leave you with Dalena today. That's my daughter. I'm gonna leave you my cell phone. If something goes wrong, you dial one nine one one, and I leave you. I had to leave her this girl's cell phone number so that she can call me if something goes wrong. So I leave her this girl's cell phone number. I'm like, okay, I gotta go. She came to pick me up. She had this small car, car smart, you know, smart cars, small small cars, and she came over. She picked me up. We went to this club, and at this moment. I met this man. Oh my God! Not let's not go there yet. Let me tell you what happened. When that day was like the most beautiful day of my life because I met this man, and I can tell you guys, I think this man is the love of my life because I've been in love with this man since then until today. I am still in love with this man. I don't know if it's a twin flame. If it's a soulmate, if it's the devil, if it's God, I really don't know what it is, but I'm still in love with this man. It's been years. So what happened was I came in through this man. He was on the wall. I'm like, yo, man, how, what is your name? I just bumped into him and I saw his eyes. His eyes were so beautiful. And it was bright blue eyes and nice, lovely hair. It looks very fit and working out. I'm like, what do you do? What's your name? It's like, my name is Andre. So where are you from? It's like, I'm from here. I'm from around here. I'm like, how old are you? It's like 45. I'm like, you look so much younger. And he's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. And then I had to right away, this girl left because I was talking to him and she was maybe jealous or I don't know what she was doing. She just left us. And I run after her and then before I even find her, this man came in front of me. The same man that I was talking to two minutes ago, she appeared in front of me. She's like, hey, what's up, girl? What, what would you like to drink? I'm like, why? You was acting that you didn't like me at all. And now you're in front of me like, girl, you want me back? <laughs> Wow. Anyways, I was very happy that he came to me and I told him, I said, yes, I really want this drink and it's going to be a rum and coke because I'm not a big drinker. I really don't know how much other drinkers you guys have out there. So I told him, I said, give me a rum and coke. So he went, he took a rum and coke. He came to me. 
it gave me the drink we danced all day and i gave him my phone number by the end of the night i left two weeks later we meet up we have sex and my life changed since that day i became this new person that i am today i have so much more patience i'm a lot smarter i grew up so much from the inside and i'm a very i'm a happier woman that i used to be back then i don't know if it's because i was in my 20s and i was so young i'm still in my 20s almost in my 30s <laughs> God, don't, don't bring it there okay i don't want to get there anyways i was very very stupid back in the days and i didn't know how to talk to men i didn't know how to approach men i didn't know but i only thing i knew it was like this man that i met was the love of my life because there was no day that i lived without thinking about him since the day i met him till today i still think about this man every day and for some reason that girl that brought me to that club that, that night she disappeared from my life from the day i met this man and actually we saw each other me and that guy not the girl the guy we saw each other one month ago and he kept telling me he's like what's up with that girl she disappeared from me she disappeared i don't see her anymore i'm like i don't see her either i don't know where she is i don't know if it's god that brought her to us that's just to tell you how much god is good he can bring people to you to manifest what you want in life and what i wanted for my life was to become the woman that i am today to have this big spiritual awakening that i have today to become this grown-ass woman that i am today to be smarter as i am today and to live the life that i'm living today i'm so much healthier I'm so much happier. I have so much more patience. I just live the life, the beautiful life. And I have, I am, my heart is open to joy, to, to songs, to, I don't know. I can't explain it really in words. I can't really put it in words, but all I can say is that I am happy and where i am right now is where i want to be i don't want no future thinking i don't want no law of attraction thinking i don't want no past living all kinds of crazy stuff that you guys put out there on the internet to make people watch you or to make people to make some cash or whatever you guys do on the internet all i want to tell you guys is like if you want a happier life if you want to be come the woman the, the man the person that you you're willing to become later accept the moment life accept the now be willing to be happy where you are at this moment that's the only way you can be happier that's the only way you're gonna attract an even better life that's the only way you're gonna be the person that you have always dreamed about being so we'll come to the end of this video i just want to tell you guys thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much for being there for me for people that have been there for me during that transition time from the beginning to the end i love you guys so much and i will keep loving you guys because my life keep going keep going i can't wait to see what god has for me in the future even though i'm so happy i'm happy in the moment life I keep manifesting anything that I want to manifest in my life every day and that is awesome and I love you guys peace